this is Mr. Magman Gani presenting the lesson. So, um, what we are going to have here is the use of factorization to simplify expressions, right? Um, can you see that uh, in the previous lesson or the previous uh, class that you you attended, we called that um, reducing the fraction into its lowest term. But in this case, it's more complex, it's more uh, sophisticated, it's more complex. So we must use factorization to reduce that into their lowest terms. So there, we look at 24x and 8. What is the common factor between 24x and 8? I can put 8 and I'll say 8 into 24x, that's a 3x, 8 into 8, that's a what? That's a 1. Minus 1 divided by 32. And then from there, 8 into 8 is a 1, 8 into 32, that's 4. So at the end, you are going to have 3x minus 1 over 4. That is the answer that you're going to have. Right? Um, here, what we are going to do is, we are going to factorize this expression. You allow me to write this because that is a long sum. So, we are going to factorize that expression on top. And then we factorize this expression here. Then after that, we cancel the things that goes in hand. So, we have x squared minus 4x plus 3, right? So, I will say x squared times 3. Remember, I taught you, you have to, you have to multiply x squared times 3 so that you can eliminate minus 4x. So, then you get 3x squared, right? We need factors of 3x squared that when you multiply them, they'll give us 3x squared. When you add or subtract them, they'll give us minus 4x. What are those factors? We have minus um, 3 x minus x minus 3 x times minus x we are going to get minus 3 x squared minus 3 x minus x we are going to get minus 4 x so in place of minus 4 x i'll take these factors and put there so i'm going to have x squared minus 3 x minus x plus 3 right so after that i can factorize what is my common factor between this and that? It becomes x, x into x squared, that's an x minus x into 3x, that's a 3. Here, what is the common factor between x and 3? That's a minus 1, minus 1 into x, and x minus 1 into plus 3, it's a minus 3. So my factors are going to be x minus 3, and then x minus 1. So these factors, I take them and I put them here, x minus 3, and then x minus 1. So, now I have vectors on top. I need to find vectors here that are on, um, on the bottom part of uh, the fraction. So, I'm going to have um, x squared plus x minus 2. And then I multiply x squared with minus 2 for me to get minus 2x squared. What are the vectors that when I add them, they'll give me minus 2x when I, uh, when I multiply them, they give me minus 2x. When I add or subtract, they'll give me plus x. What are those factors? We have um, minus 2x minus x. So, uh, no, minus 2x plus x. Okay? So, minus 2x plus x will give, you minus, will give me minus 2x squared. But then it's not, give me, it's not giving me plus x. So, that one is out. And then plus x minus um let me say plus 2x plus 2x minus x right times so 2x times minus x will give me minus 2x squared and 2x minus x will give me an x so this is the correct um uh, term that i can collect so i'm going to have x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2 then you can factorize the what is the common factor between that and that is x x into x squared is an x plus x into 2x that's a 2 minus 1 um x plus 2 so my factors are x plus 2 
and x minus 1. So I come here and I write x plus 2 and x minus 1. Right. So we have factorized our, our thing, the, our fraction there, but it's not yet um, done x minus 1 into x minus 1 cancel and i'm going to be left with x minus 3 over x plus 2 that is my final expression there so i'm going to give you just a sum this time i'll give you just one for you to practice on the use of factorization to simplify expressions in other ways reducing things into their lowest terms So we have um, x squared plus 5x minus 24 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 15. I'm tempted to give you 2 just for you to go and practice more. We need to practice 2a squared plus 7a plus 3 divided by 4a squared minus 1. This is a 7. Please take note. So this is the end of um, the lesson of the use of factorization to simplify expressions. Please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like and comment on this channel. Uh, we'll meet once more. Thanks.